Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Walter Eckstein. I'm the HOD of Life Orientation for St. Andrews and DSG. My presentation this morning will um, take you through the use of our Go Study portal that we use to assist grade nine learners in making subject choices. Um, it is also then used in grade 10, 11, and 12 in order to assist uh, seniors to help them decide uh, which degrees they would like to study and what career fields and employment opportunities open up based on their marks as they progress through the senior phase in high school. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk through the process with you. Um, so from the school's intranet page, the sites.google.com, uh, the junction page, um, if you click on the campus life button at the top and scroll to the careers uh, go study career portal, that will take you to this page. Please do not um, search for Go Study Career Portal elsewhere as we have an agreement with them and um, this will take you directly to our landing page for St. Andrews and DSG. Um, I have already signed in, but you can sign in in the top right corner uh, using Google and it will ask your child's basic information, um, the current uh, grade they're in, etc. and some basic information. Once you have created an account, you'll probably receive an email to confirm it. And once that is set up, you will receive, um, you'll be able to enter the page onto this site, this, um, the site onto this page. Um, then if you scroll to questionnaire um, and go to the career guidance questionnaire, that will be the first thing that we want your grade nines to do. And in fact, they have done this already on the college side uh, as part of life orientation. It's not a, a problem for them to do it again. Um, once they've completed the questionnaire, it will send them um, a, a breakdown of what their perceived strengths and weaknesses are and what the perceived career opportunities would be. Um, once you have that, it will give you an idea of uh, which um, fields they would be more likely to enjoy as employment possibility later beyond school. Um, the second thing to do then would be to go to the subject chooser page, um, subject choice grade nine. Once you have clicked on that, um, it will give you an opportunity to enter um, subjects and that will give you the opportunity to see which career fields and available careers your subject choice will impact. So if, um, if they enter certain subjects here and click on the bottom to say, show my career options, um, I've entered some subjects here, um, click on show my career options, and um, it will show two columns, and that will give um, your child the opportunity to see um, career fields and available careers in those career fields. So while I'm waiting for it to load, um, I'm just going to give it a second or two. Anyway, I'm going to wait for this to finish loading. But in the meanwhile, if you look at applied and visual art and available careers is, is an architect, you can click on that and it'll tell you what an architect does. You can click on all the available careers based on the fields of uh, the careers. So let's say health science, um, medical scientists, what does a medical scientist do? That is what they do. So the benefit of this is that your child can then play around with various subject choices on the left hand side, sh show career options and look at the impact it has on available careers. So I'm going to, uh, you know, you're going to spend some time perhaps with your child, uh, putting in various options and please just note, and this is only available for the IEB subjects, not for A-level. Um, it is not configured to do the A-level subjects and um, the impact that it has on careers and career fields. This program is used countrywide by hundreds of schools. Um, they make updates um, regularly in order to be current and relevant. And then just to take it a little bit further, just to show you the impact that this will have later on, if they are in grade 10 to 12 and they've, sub they've chosen their subjects, you can then go on to course chooser. And 
as they progress through their high school career, they can enter at the marks that they achieve for their subjects and they will be able to see um, what the impact is on their potential course options in university. So I've entered some random marks for the various subjects in my profile. And if I click on show my course options, um, it shows how my subjects and marks currently and um, have an impact on what I can apply for to university. So I can do so many different things. I can um, eliminate um, institutions that I would not want to see anymore. I can narrow it down to only certain universities. And But let's just, for argument's sake, say I'm going to click on Nelson Mandela University and I want to look at what a Bachelor of Visual Arts is. Um, I can click on it and it'll tell me, it'll take me straight to the university's program, the number of APS points I need, and all the possible careers that I can, that I can take from doing this particular degree. Um, you can go straight to the university's application page for that particular faculty. So it's a really a, a shortcut and a very, very useful resource uh, for everything from um, subject choices for the grade nines to course choosers and tertiary study for the grade tens, elevens and twelves. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to contact me. Um, and my e contact details are on, on our school's page. Otherwise, you can just contact the school and look it up from there. Um, I hope it goes well with you and your child with subject choices. Uh, we do cover this in life orientation as well. But please do not hesitate to contact me if you need any further information. Um, take care.